Hey guys and girls, mostly girls, but maybe some of my guys too. Um, all right, so let's get serious. We need to talk about extensions. All right, me and you, we need to have a serious talk about extensions. Um, I could talk about extensions <laughs> for all day long. Okay, I love extensions. If you're thinking about um, trying them out, I would definitely recommend them to everybody. Long hair, short hair, um, thin hair, thick hair, anybody. I actually have long hair and I have thick hair and I still wear them because they just give you an instant like a healthiness to your hair. Like your hair looks more healthy, especially like because I color mine, obviously. Um, and <laughs> so it has made my ends a little bit dead. Um, and so with the extensions and I have them in right now, um, it just, it gives the ends, I mean, let alone like making it, making it look better overall, it gives the ends a little bit more of a healthy look. I feel like when I put them in, it just, it makes it look more healthy. Um, cause usually I'm trying to show you all of it, but usually like when it's long like this too, it can get a little bit ratty and I mean my hair is the dark hair and this hair but I just I don't do the bottom of it not because I like the peekaboo look but because um my hair is so thick it takes forever to color it and so like it can take six hours to color half of my hair just the roots um so I'm just like whatever we'll Let's not even do the bottom of it because it doesn't show that much anyways. But, anywho. Um, yeah, so I would recommend extensions to everybody. That You can get curly ones. You can get straight ones. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh, you know, are, is it real hair? Um, and everybody thinks real hair extensions are so much better because you can curl them and straighten them, which it is cool that you can curl them and straighten them. But what I've found is that, um, real extensions and fake extensions, they last pretty much the same amount of time. I mean, yeah, you can wash real hair, but, um, it doesn't, it still doesn't last that much longer even if you wash it um which is really annoying to do and not it's not I don't I just I just get new ones <clears throat> um even if you wash it it still looks kind of dead and coarse just after you wear them quite a few times even if you wash the real ones and um and real hair is usually quite a bit more expensive. Um, and the fake hair, if you get good fake um, hair, then it's still really good. It looks really good. I mean, this I've had for a little while and it still looks really good. It still looks pretty shiny and um, healthy. And, and I've had it for a while. I've been able to wear it like quite a few times. And extensions just add so much volume they add um a style like it's kind of like an instant style when you put them in um and I always have to straighten my hair because my hair is really coarse so if I don't straighten it um it looks really like dry and coarse anyways and straightening it kind of smooths it out so I'll straighten it and I have like some natural wave to my hair which I like but I don't like my hair to look so dry so I do straighten it and you, if you, um, if you want to blend it into the extensions, you want to straighten your hair. I'm trying to, trying to find my hair and not the extensions. It's hard to tell. Um, you want to straighten it and then just give it a little tiny bit of a curve so that it just nicely blends in. Um, cause if you just do it perfectly straight, it won't blend right at the bottom. So just give it a little bit of a curve under. Um, 
and then matching so matching hair is actually if you just saw my little bang video that I did um I talked a little bit about extensions too but um matching hair it's not, I've never found it to be very hard I mean my hair is really light so for me it's easy I usually just get the lightest color actually this is I think like the second to the lightest color um but normally I, and I just did my hair not too long ago so it's even lighter but um this matches perfectly like it's this is pretty good and um I've never really one time I got hair that was a little too dark but that was because I was trying to play around with kind of adding in some dark hair without coloring it but other than that I've never had a hair color that didn't work so it blends really well so if you're worried about matching your hair color it blends really well like as long as you get as long as you get extensions that are either one piece and that's what mine is and I'll show you I'm gonna take them out and then put them back in um, those are just they're more evenly distributed throughout your hair so if you just get it like if you get a track let me see if I can find mine. Um, if you get tracks that you have to cut and clip in. Oh, and mine, mine are clip in, by the way. Um, like these, they take so much longer. And this is what I used to do before I found out about the one pieces back in the day. Um, you have to clip in like, well, for my hair, because my hair is really thick. I mean, I had to layer it so many times. It took forever with the one piece extensions oh my gosh it takes off so much time it's like literally a few minutes um and you're done with these it's like a half an hour to an hour to get it all in and everything or maybe a half an hour but it just it takes a while and it's just more difficult and tedious um so let's see yeah and extensions are great if you have an event to go to like if you're going to a wedding if you're getting married definitely use them um but if you're going to a wedding i would get them um any other event uh and you're thinking about it do it i definitely would say to do it um but matching the only good thing or one of the good things about real hair is if your if your hair just is really really hard to match and you just can't seem to find one that looks right like if you have an in-between color like you're not super dark you're not not super light and you have kind of an an odd different color um, and you're just not finding ones that'll match you can get real hair extensions and you can actually have them dye the hair to match your hair. like you can dye both together um, which is cool because then obviously it's gonna be exactly the same color so, but I love um, clip-in extensions because you can just do them whenever you want or you can take them out, like you can take them out at the end of the night and then your hair, head feels a lot lighter. Like if you get them put in, it's nice obviously because you don't have to put them in when you want to, but with the one piece extensions, it's so easy that it's not even a big deal. Um, but yeah, your head just feels so much lighter at the end of the night the end of the day <laughs> and um you and yeah you when you want to put them in you have an instant style so um okay so I'm gonna take mine out right now do the reveal <laughs> and then I'll put them back in and I've never done this um on camera it's a little weird because it's everything's opposite from what I'm doing so I'm gonna try to do it the best I can all right so I took, I unclipped the first clip, as you can see, on both sides. And so there's one clip there on each side. Unclip that. There's two more. Unclip that. And then there's one more in the middle. Unclip that. And then, oh, sorry. The computer. All right, so then I just go down to the bottom. And there's two more down here. And I unclip those. And then there's two more on the sides that I unclip. And 
Voila. Let's see if I can get this. Uh-oh, one of the clips is clipped still. There we go. All right, voila. <laughs> now I don't show many people this, so <laughs> get so lucky. Um, so here is, whoop, here is the extensions. Now, these ones, like I said, I've had for a little while, so um, bear with me. They're not in perfect condition. Um, I'm going to order some more, actually, probably tonight or tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm going to get the curly ones by Jessica Simpson. Not the real hair, but the her synthetic hair. Um, and she's got some really good quality, like, or the Ken Pavis, Pavis, whatever, those ones. Those are some, those are really good quality ones. Um, okay, so I took it out. And so I want to show you guys, this is what it looks like when it's one piece. This is it. Um, so you, yeah, you just clip the top and then you clip the bottom. Um, these ones are really long since my hair is long. These are 18 inches. Um, and the awesome thing about these, oh my gosh, is that they're really thick. And I mean, if you have thick hair, you definitely, you have to get thick extensions because, oh, I've tried doing the ones that aren't very thick and they, for one thing, they don't look very good because they're just, they're kind of stringy at the bottom and they, you can just tell that they need to be thicker. Um, and, and so if you have thick ones, oh my gosh, it's so nice. So, all right. So I'm going to put these back in. And I'll show you how I do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what I do, and I kind of have it down where I like them to be, but, and you'll kind of play with them and you'll figure it out too. But, um, I basically just go right here above my eyebrows or actually about at my temples, I would say. And you don't want to get them too high in the back of your head because um, cause then it's it, like they, they can show easier. So if you do them a little bit lower, they won't show as much. Um, but, oh, and if you're worried about extensions falling out or showing, honestly, rarely does that ever happen. I've been wearing extensions for years now and mine have never fallen out. And I've partied, partied a little bit. <laughs> in them too and danced and like they don't they don't fall out like the clips are pretty sturdy um and they don't show either everybody that I've told I have extensions in they're like what you have extensions like that that's crazy talk <laughs> and they all want to see them <laughs> let me like show me show me I'm like oh gosh um but all right. Oh, and sorry, one more thing. Um, another trick for not letting them show is backcombing the back of your hair. So don't be afraid to rat your hair up. If you don't like your hair to look like big, you know, you don't want it to be big. You're like, eh, that's out. I'm not into that anymore. Um, you, you don't have to make it look big. You can still just do some ratting at the, in the back. And then just, cause it just, it helps, it helps make sure that they don't show. So rat it and then comb the back of it down. And then it's not going to be, um, it's, it won't be as big, but you'll still have a little bit of ratting so that, um, those clips and the tracks don't show. All right. You got that. You got that everybody out there. <laughs> All right, so I just go about straight from my temple and I just make a line and it's pretty easy and you just meet your thumbs in the back, okay, and you just, and it, it really doesn't have to be perfect because um, like I said, they, everything blends so easily that it just, you really don't have to worry about like 
parting it perfectly, making sections. Like, meet your thumbs in the middle, you know, go from your temples on each side, and it's a piece of cake. So, okay, you're going to grab your middle clip um, at the top of your extension. So, here's all the hair. So, this is the top, okay? <clears throat> and my hand is on the clip, my finger. Okay, and so... You're just going to clip it in the middle and you don't need any help for this. You don't need to go to the salon. You can just do this all yourself. All right. Did you hear that little clip? I clipped it in the middle and then I'm going to grab the next. I keep, You want to keep your hands back there and hold your hair up. Oh, that didn't quite clip. I'm going to clip it again. Um, hold the rest of your hair up with your hands as you're going. Don't let it fall. If you do, it's okay, but... Okay, so grab the next two clips that go outward, clip, grab the next clips, and kind of pull them, pull it forward as much as you can, like towards your ears, and just, and you want to make sure, and if, if you feel like they're not like super secure, you can kind of go up in your hair just a little bit with the clips. And then um, you can move it to the left or the right just a little bit. Don't dig into your scalp, but <laughs> just move it to the left or the right. Create a little bit of a, not a knot, but like <laughs> a little bit of texture. Um, and then put them in, especially if you have super fine hair. You can even hairspray it just a little bit or rat it first just a little bit. Um, and then it'll, it'll stay in a lot better. All right, so then I'm going to grab the next two clips that are underneath the top um, furthest clips that I just clipped and clip those in. And then there's just two more in the back. Clip those. This one, oh, that's not open. All right, clip those. It looks a little messy right now, but we'll fix it. Um, so they're all in. And then I'm going to bring them forward just a little bit. And see, it just gives so much more life to your hair, um, especially at the bottom. Gosh, and if you have thin hair, extensions are your best friend. I mean, it's it's a little harder not to make them show, obviously. You have, do have to rat them a little bit, but I mean, it's, an in, it's instant volume. So see, that was like two or three minutes done. And I mean, my hair is already straightened and blended into it, but... I mean, it's pretty, e like, it's really, really easy, actually. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> um, so my extensions are in. And, um, oh, one other thing. Now, you saw these extensions. These are straight extensions. They've gotten, like, a little bit wavy, but that's just from wear. Um, but the cool thing is, now, fake hair, you can't curl and you can't straighten. It'll fizzle and it'll break like you cannot touch it with um the heater or a heating tool but the cool thing is like since this one has these ones have a little bit of curl at the bottom try to find it um let's see it's hard for me to tell which is my hair and which is the extensions um since it has this little curl at the bottom already and that's how, that is how it came which I love um I've curled like all of this, ugh. I'm trying to give you kind of an idea. So I've curled, I've curled these, and it still will blend in with the extensions, which is so cool because you're like, oh, I have fake extensions now, I can't curl my hair, or else it won't blend. No, you can curl it, and it still blends it's crazy I know sounds super crazy <laughs> but I have done it and it looks really cute and cool and um so you can do straight or curly with them um and I think that's it um well I hope you guys have learned a lot on extensions if you have any other questions about extensions let you let your sister know. <laughs> okay. Bye guys. Mwah.